tell you something that you're not gonna believe. What? I got punched by the Phoenix. Are you kidding? No. I mean, it's just the first of a four-step process. But they slid the invitation under my door tonight. Go to my first punch party tomorrow. So, you got punched by the Phoenix. Yeah. It's probably just a diversity thing. It's just a diversity thing. Just ride that horse until... What did you want to talk to me about? Mark? Yeah. You said you'd come up with something. Yeah, I think I've come up with something. Come outside. It's 20 degrees outside. I can't stare at that loop of Niagara Falls, which has absolutely nothing to do with the Caribbean. <laughs> People came to Face Smash in a stampede, right? Yeah. But it wasn't because they saw pictures of hot girls. You can go anywhere on the internet and see pictures of hot girls. Yeah. It was because they saw pictures of girls that they knew. People want to go on the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers that friends, pictures, profiles, whatever you can visit, browse around. Maybe it's someone you just met at a party. But I'm not talking about a dating site. I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. I can't feel my legs. I know. I'm totally psyched about this too, but Wardo. Yeah. It would be exclusive. You would have to know the people on the site to get past your own page, like getting punched. Well, that's good. Wardo, it's like a final club, except we're the president. I told him I thought it sounded great. It was a great idea. There was nothing to hack. People were going to provide their own pictures, their own information. And people had the ability to invite or not invite their friends to join. See, in a world where social structure was everything, that was the thing. It was a big project, and he was going to have to write tens of thousands of lines of code, so I wondered why he was coming to me and not his roommates, Dustin Moskowitz and Chris Hughes. They were programmers. We're going to need a little startup cash to rent the servers and get it online. So that was why. Did he offer terms? Yes. We'll split it, 70-30. 70 for me, 30 for you for putting up the thousand dollars and for handling everything on the business end. You're CFO. And you said? I said, let's do it. Okay, did he add anything else? Yes. It probably was a diversity thing. But so what? Why do you think he said that? Gretchen, excuse me for interrupting, but whose discovery is Sigh, this? Sigh, if you'll let me continue with my what line of questions. They're suggesting I was jealous of Eduardo for getting punched by the Phoenix and began a plan to screw him out of a company I hadn't even invented yet. Were you? Gretchen. Jealous of Eduardo. Oh, stop typing. We're off Man, the record. I know you've done your homework, and so you know that money isn't a big part of my life, but at the moment, I could buy Mount Auburn Street, take the Phoenix Club, and turn it into my ping pong room. 